the first uh, question that I want to deal with is the question that Sister Brown asked. That she said that she'd heard me sometimes say that when people said the Lord told me this or the Lord told me that that <clears throat> that I sometimes say that I don't believe it or the Lord didn't tell them that. Uh, I want to be very careful when I say this that you don't get the idea that I believe that the Lord cannot speak to anyone. Okay, That's not the idea that I want to pass out there. Because God is still speaking. God is still speaking. But, Sister Brown, I believe very strongly that the way God has chosen to speak preeminently is through the Bible. Through His Word. And I believe that there are some times that God will have words of exhortation, words of encouragement, whatever, through somebody to somebody in the body. And I, I don't put any limitation on that because I don't know what God can do. I just know He can do a lot. Now, one thing we know without a doubt is God cannot speak anything to contradict the word. So if God is speaking to you and you told me something that God told you and it's against the Bible, I know right away you're lying. That God didn't speak to you. Now, there are some people that will speak words that are against the way God asks us to do them. For example, they get up and they speak in tongues and, and nobody interprets it. And then later on, somebody say, uh, you spoke in tongues? And nobody, yeah, I spoke in tongues, but this was what it, you know. Then that's, that's not true either. Are, are you following me? Okay, so we have to be very careful, pastors have to be very careful, teachers have to be very careful that you are not telling people what you want. Because we, have, we all have our own desires. And sometimes we can get carried away by what we want. And Believe me, most of the using of God's name in vain is probably not being done outside, but inside the church. Because some of us think that when you use God's name, when you use God's name in vain is when, you know, you use four-letter words or whatever. But a lot of times, you know, uh, a lot of people in the church use God's name in vain. By basically saying God told me when he didn't tell you anything. Sometimes some of us use the words God told me so that our words can be respected. So I have no uh, special... Revelation from God that says, I know when people are telling lies or when they're not speaking. But I just know that there are some principles of the Bible that we should follow when we try to give words to people in the body. Yes. That's true. Did everybody get that? Okay. That, you know, uh, if, you, if you have the gift of discernment, that's one of the gifts that automatically discerns when somebody is telling the truth or when they're, you know, uh, just making things up. And, uh, and that's very true. Yes. 
Well, let me share with you at a prayer meeting, one of the ladies uh, stood up and said, The Lord just revealed to me that I'm supposed to marry Brother Y. And, uh, and Brother Y in the, back, in the back said, Brother Pastor, Brother Pastor, the Lord just spoke to me. And the Lord told me, if Sister X is the last person on earth, I should remain a eunuch. <laughs> okay, you got the joke, right? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, it's, it, again, it's the spirit of discernment and the word of God. I mean, that is the one thing we know for sure God spoke. The word. That's the only thing we know for sure. It's the word of God. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. And it's profitable. On and on and on. So we know, know without a doubt. That God has spoken through his word. That is the only sure word. In fact Paul said. Let God be true. And every man a liar. So it's, it's that I can trust. Now. You always compare what people say to you based on the word of God. But the problem is many times many of us don't know what the word of God says. We're not a Sunday school, we're not a Bible study, we're not a cell group. Amen, lights. <laughs> You know, so how are you going to know what the Word of God says? You know, you say, well, I think it says something like that in there, but I'm not sure. I want to tell you that what we're talking about is really a serious matter. Because my introduction to the life in California... Uh, a long time ago, very, very graphic, where some people were led to a place called Jonestown. And they were led there through a church, through a minister that they believed in. But when that minister started to change and begin to do their own thing, people did not catch on to it. To the point where they trusted him and left the United States. Went over to another place just to drink Kool-Aid. You know, it's a, it's a serious thing. When we talk about the Word of God and staying with the Word of God. Yes. It's a serious matter and uh, don't take it, you know, that, that's why, for example, we have, we do have some Christians who read the horoscope. Now, if you're a Christian and you're still reading the horoscope, shame on you. Some of us actually believe in uh, Whoopi Goldberg in, in Ghost. <laughs> but God has spoken. Stands spoken. The Greek word is gegraftai. He has spoken. And that is in the blue perfect, which means he spoke in the past, he speaks now, and he speaks forevermore. Amen. Through his word. Through his word. 
I, I hope that we, you know, touched on that a little bit. Thank you.